I, I don't think President Higgins' speech is going to dramatically change anything. I think everybody... Like, what did he say that we don't already know? I, there'll be a hullabaloo about this for a week and then we'll all move on. Well, he was calling on. out he was critical of government. Oh, he, yes, that's a different issue. Uh, and I think that, that is a problem. And I, I wonder um, if Marie was sitting here as a government uh, TD and, say, Dana was president and Dana was uh, interjecting on an issue uh, of, say, social policy... I wonder would the Labour Party be quite so keen on a president getting involved there. I think what Michael D. Higgins did was wrong. I, I think the president has to be above party politics. And, and Laura... The president has a mandate. Well, That's hang on, let me, sorry, okay, just let me finish the point. I didn't interrupt you. L Laura uh, laid out the point very well. One of the key, one of the few key roles the president has is this issue of is the doll... Uh, is, is the power to dissolve the doll. That is a hugely important power, very rarely ever exercised. I think it's come up once uh, potentially in my lifetime, but who knows when it will come up again. And the president has to be, I think, to be absolutely above politics and but be seen not, to be does above Does the issue politics. of housing not go beyond politics in this country, Sorry, Shane? Like, do you know what? Like, you, it's you a know basic what? need, isn't none it? Of these Shelter, things, no, you know what? There. None of these things... The but, Constitution but, but, but doesn't it, it matter. It is a basic no, need no, that how, is being ignored yeah. for so many people well, in this so, country. Whether it's being ignored or not, we can have a debate about it. I, look, and I'd far rather talk about solutions than uh, describe what word that we can use for it, whether it's a disaster or crisis. I'd much rather talk about solutions, the kind of stuff that, that, that Lorcan does. But it, it, the point is, it, the president should not be going there. And we can, you know, you can say these things. Not be a vo a well, no, voice the, just, the, the point is about the, the, why the Constitution is really important is because it, it, we only realise its importance when things go astray. Look at what is happening in the UK at the moment. We have a British government that is willing to tear up legislation. Look at what's happening in the US. We had a president who was willing to try and overthrow an election. That is why these constitutional issues are important and is why it is important we stick to precedent. And, you know, you can say these things are such and such is more important. I don't agree. There has to be certain principles. And I think the president should be above politics at all times. OK. On Party the, politics at all times, I should say. Michael D said it's the mad speculative money that is destroying yeah. our country, which yeah. we are welcoming, which we shouldn't be. Is he right about that? Uh, look, possibly. Uh, I mean, it's a little bit simplistic. And, and, and my problem with the whole debate, and we've been talking here for, what, 10 minutes about it, and everybody's been talking about this for the last day and a half. I haven't heard one person talk about solutions. We're mired in, is he right to say it's a crisis? Who cares whether you use the term crisis or disaster? We all know well, there's actually, a huge problem now, there. I think Michael D Higgins, and we will discuss it, did talk about shouldn't county councils be doing more? Shouldn't, you know, we be looking at that, looking at the amount yeah. of state land? I, I mean, I, I, I'd love to have that and conversation. And how underused it is I mean, there's a, for there's building a, houses. There's a piece of industrial land very close to where Marie uh, Lorca and I all live, um, Glasnevin Industrial Centre, uh, uh, Industrial Estate. That is perfect for redevelopment. Right beside the Lewis Line, right beside the canal, right beside bus routes. It's barely used. You could probably house 20,000 people there and it is sitting almost idle. And every day I look at it when I go past it and go, why isn't that being about? I, I mean, I, I presume there's a myriad of reasons, but and, and we need to address those issues. And I think, I think we need to move beyond whether it's a crisis or a disaster, and you know, start banging a few heads together. Well, um, I mean, the government have banged heads together. The housing for all is the plan. Like yeah. that's the plan. Well, there are the heads yeah, the, banged. Uh, well, and that's what they yeah, come up with. Yeah, and not enough heads are being banged. Quite, quite clearly, can you consider <laughs> when you consider that state agencies we heard last week are being quite slow uh, in identifying land that that should be developed.